praise the Lord, everybody. Sing that chorus for me. I would greatly appreciate it. I just, it's all right if I just say what I, what I hear real quick. So what I hear is, the moment you choose, so if I'm looking at you, that's not necessarily mean that I'm looking at you, okay? Just, I mean, I'm talking to you, okay? I just, just want you to know. I literally saw like, oh, <laughs> what was that movie, Inside Out? Um, <laughs> so I saw the walls going up. But, um, but the Spirit of the Lord is saying, the moment you choose, the moment you choose to seek after me with your whole heart, the more I will reveal myself to you. The moment you choose, When Jeremiah was talking to the people, he told them, listen, you can go after the gods of your forefathers and all them. But then he said, but as for me and my house, our choice is to serve the Lord. The moment you choose to seek after God, songwriter said, I'm chasing after you no matter what I have to do. Because I need you more. That's what the songwriter said. They made a choice 
And the more they sought after God, and the more you begin to seek after God, the very things that you think has been hindered, God is going to show you that it wasn't. Praise the Lord. <sighs> ah, God, you got to send that through somebody else. Please do. The Lord, Spirit of the Lord is saying, how long must I wait? How long must I wait? <laughs> so, it's what I set before you is an open door, so the door is already open. Do you trust me? Not to step through, but do you trust me to run through? Stepping, there's a difference in the stepping and running. Because if I just casually walk in, then that's how I'm going to treat it casually. But if I run through, meaning there's a sense of urgency. God, I got to... Get to the place, come on here now, where you want me to be. My God today. If you have your Bibles, let us turn to Genesis, the first chapter. I'm going to tell y'all, wifey, uh, me and wife had a nice, long, short conversation yesterday. She <laughs> says to me, she says, she says, babe, I, I, I know you, you've been on it. What are you going to say? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're good. Praise the Lord. Right. Um. And she says, babe, I know you've been busy. She said, how can I help you in tomorrow? I said, well, you've got a word. You can show help me right there. You can show help me right there. You can show them help me right there. But uh, if I can be, if I can be honest with you, is it man? May I be, may I keep 100? Um. There was a moment in, I think it was last week, there was a moment where, as a leader, I thought that I failed God. And I was like, Lord, why does it seem like everything is falling away? Why? Why does it seem like everything is falling away? And I said, God, I, I don't, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. And uh, I think it was three weeks ago. When we was talking about seasons. We was talking about seasons. Two weeks ago. Okay, so then it was two weeks ago. And so... When I begin to understand that your life, just as the world, just as the earth itself has seed time and harvest, it goes through its seasons, so do you. And also, so do the very things around you go through its seasons. So I had, listen, I'm trying to tell you, they had me real good because I was getting ready to Wait a minute, did I tell you? I said, you know what, I think I'm just going to close these doors, call it a day because guess what, Brother Toss can be doing something. Some different. I ain't, I'm not, if I'm lying, I'm flying. And then my wife had the audacity to say, play this song, listen to this. So I began to listen to the certain song, and the next thing I know, the Spirit of the Lord has literally just been, just let your answer stay yes. Y'all, man, listen. I'm, I'm not on a soapbox. I'm not. I promise you I'm not. I'm going somewhere. Just stay with me. Y'all, do you know how? Do you know the weight of this is? Huh? I have to be, for one, I have to be a leader, of, of a, a, a leader, number one. And I also have to be a follower. I have to be a 
pastor, father, husband, friend, counselor, um, uh, <laughs> mechanic, lawn um, person, um, and the list goes on and on and on. And sometimes we don't recognize the very things that we have to deal with because of all the hats that we have to wear. Oh, stay with me. I'm going somewhere. <laughs> Are you counting your hats? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to compare. <laughs> <laughs> There's some hats I didn't even keep on. I'm, listen, I'm tired. <laughs> um, but the question is, it came down to how do I show up in the hats that I wear? You got your Bibles? Let's go. Let's read it real quick. Genesis 1, 1 through 5. It says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. I'm reading from, I think this is New King James. I'm not, I think it's King James. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning was the first day. <sighs> What they got to do with what you was just talking about? Well, we like to take for a thought for this morning is going to be, it's called Out of the Darkness. God, don't mind it, though. I feel like running already. Because in this, in this, in this, in this time of creation, I kept looking, I think I started looking at this thing with wifey, uh, just having a conversation. Um, because I was, I think I was listening to, I was listening to somebody, y'all. I can't remember. I'm trying to remember. I was listening to somebody. It's like one of the three people that I listened to on the conference. But they said something that, that got me. And they said that God moves out of, he creates light out of darkness. He creates something coming out of darkness. And I begin to sit back and I begin to mold that thing. Begin to understand that. Like, what do you mean out of darkness? I begin to think about it. And as I begin to think about it, it's a lot of times because even our traumas, traumas that we've had to deal with in life has always taken us where? To a dark place. God told me I didn't know. Ooh, I feel like running right now. Ooh, like, ooh. I don't know. This is just me. I just showed them. It's tingling all over my body. But... When we begin to look at it, look at what God says. God says, His word says, the earth was without form and void, meaning there was no shape and it was not valid, void. And the darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. What is the deep? The deep is the waters. What is what is the deep? The deep is the waters. But hold on, think about it. He created something. It had something. What did it have? It had purity. It was pure. There was no form. What do we know about water? Water takes the shape of the very thing that's holding it. But there was nothing holding. Come on here now. Jesus, but there was nothing holding the water. Ooh, something about purity, you, <laughs> you can't hold it. It's the God in you that holds it. Come on here now. Ooh, ooh. See, this is why the enemy wants to take our innocence, wants to take our purity, wants to take what God has already put in us. Why? Because only he can hold it. My God. Look, 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 look at this. And then look at verse 3. I'm, I'm, we're going to roll. And look at what it says. It says, and then God said, 
Hear me. After his face moved upon the waters. After his face moved upon you. Oh, shut up. He says, let there be light. And there was light. Meaning what? At the very word, things were, at the very word, things move. So, God, what are you saying in this? I want to show you something real quick. Look at verse 4. He said, when God saw the light, he saw that it was what? Good. Good. But when he saw the darkness, what did he say? Bad. Did it? Exactly. Exactly. He called the light good. But with darkness, there's no response. Why? Because darkness itself is absence. Darkness is the absence of light. So if I'm creating something out of a dark place, I don't need to name it. Why? Because the name is already within it. It's absent. Meaning what? Nothing. God to my no. So understanding that, ooh, Jesus, what are you doing here this morning? So understanding that in our dark place, it's a place of absence. What's absent? The light that was once there. Why? Because we had, because through through our through our life experiences, the enemy has infiltrated our light and what? And he turned out our light. So therefore, it's now empty. It is now absent. The very joy that was there is now absent. The very peace that was there is now absent. Ooh, come on here, God. But this is why I, this is why I love God is because a lot of times that he, he allows a lot of times. Come on. I just got to say every time for me because I'm starting to recognize my dark place is now being my testimony that my light now shines so much brighter so that it attracts the very thing of where my darkness used to be. Now it begins to attract where my light is. Come on here now. Ooh, y'all got to see this. When you begin to look at what he's saying, he says, listen. And in my time, in the time of creation, in my time of even creating you, in my time of creating even your destiny, even my time of creating your completeness, in my time of creating, I still had to bring it from somewhere. It's one thing I begin to look at when I take a seed and I put it, y'all see my plants? When I took the plants, out of its, out of its uh, container. container that it came in. And then I began to plant it in the yard. The plant went into a dark place. Why is that? Because there's no light in the dirt. If you try it, <laughs> Put yourself on the ground and <laughs> it's right, okay. Praise the Lord. <laughs> you with me? So, what are you saying? Is that a lot of times, even in your dark place, God is still moving. Why is that? Because the root system begin to take on the nutrients of what? Of the ground that is in. Come on here now. This is why, even in even in our time where it seems like God has left us alone, we got to understand that God is still yet doing something on the other side of this. Ooh, God. So God, why do I have to go through this? Why do I have to deal with this? Well, let's look at Joseph. Joseph had a dream. Joseph had a dream, but in the dream, it did not say what he had to go through. It did not show him the journey. It showed him the destination, but it didn't show the journey. See, some of us today, we, we know where we're going, but we don't understand the journey on us getting there. What are you saying? Because Joseph found himself in a dark place. Huh? Yeah. Betrayed by his own brothers. Thrown into a dark pit. Wait a minute. The experience of being abandoned. And now being thrown into a dark place. Then, here I am thinking you come to your senses and you come back and rescue me. But, 
I found myself now being sold away from what I call home. Now I've come to a place and I still see God's favor on my life, but I have not gotten to my destination yet. I'm still in my journey. But now you lie on me. When I'm thinking you got my back, to be honest, because you know me, yet you still took the side that was against me. Come on here, Jesus. Oh, Lord have mercy. I'm, about, I'm, about, I'm almost done. We're going to get on out of here. But then you put me into a horrible place. In a six by ten cell. So now, God, how, how is this going to help me to my destination? Here I got abandonment issues. Woo. Now I got trust issues. God, how are you going to deal with this? Then you give me another dream to where I tell two people and they still set, they still left me here for four years. But then that time came when I remembered there was a man that told me what this was going what was going to happen. So a lot of times we get frustrated when we're going through our journey, but understanding that God is yet still setting you up. Because the thing is, if you always taste at the top, then how do you know what a defeat looks like? Looks like. If you never tasted an L, because understand, an L don't always, no, see in my book, an L don't mean you're lost. An L means, you, okay, I got a lesson in this. Woo. Mm, 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 mm. So understanding in that dark place, when we're asking God for healing, because the thing is, we know how we got there, right? Which is hard for a lot of us to actually revisit. But until God touch and when God moves, oh my goodness, now we know how we got out. But then what becomes the testament of God's goodness? It becomes a testament of how the enemy tried to kill me because of the promise that God has for me. See, you got to understand, even though when he told the dream, you got to be careful what you tell your friends. Ooh, come on, and your homies. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes my wife can't understand it. I have to show her when it happens. But when God begins to move, you got to know. I don't listen to me. I don't care what area that may be dark in your life. There is a light. The question is, are you going to seek it out or not? Because one thing about it, have you ever traveled? Them country roads, and they got a house set back with the porch light on. Mm -hmm. You can see the light. A lot of times they seem like they're close. But once you start walking, them, them things be like over a mile away. But what are you still drawn to? The light. You're drawn to the light. Because you know that there's safety in the light. There's peace in the light. Whatever the issue is that I had to walk to the light, I know that when I get to the light, I, I, I should be able to have that issue resolved. What are you saying this morning? Listen, don't let your darkness, see, he told it nice and quick, that's it. Don't let the dark place keep you. Seek out the light. Seek out the light. And watch what God do. That's all I can say is watch what God do. Because your destiny needs, you got to go through the journey to reach it. Why? Because through the journey is where you sustain. Through the journey is where you understand how to handle it. But why you say that? Because when Joseph reached his destiny, he didn't seek revenge on those that hurt him. He didn't have an ill heart. He did for a moment. He did for a moment. I ain't gonna lie. When you read the story, you'll see, yeah, for, ooh, I can't. But God, he was able to forgive and release the bitterness and, re and release the resentment. Why? Because he came to an understanding that he had to go through. Because of the destiny. So I'm just going to let y'all know real quick. I did have a few more people in here. That I was going to run through. But uh, 
That's it. <laughs> so I'll just let you know. So understand. Yeah, I understand that if you, if you, and I understand everybody's not in, a, everybody's not in a tough place. You can be on top of the world. But yet the enemy still be trying to hold you to something. So that means I got to be what? I got to get free from that something. To know that God is still going to use that something for what he has destined for you. Mm, my God. Praise the Lord. We thank the Lord this morning. See? Nice and quick. Praise the Lord. Oh, God. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> if anyone needing help, um, help. If anyone need, even need prayer this morning, wave your hand. Um, because I'm just so believing and trusting God. That. <laughs> Oh my God, I just I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying, what the enemy is setting up for your bad, I'm going to turn it around for your good. But I need you to trust me. <laughs> I need you to trust me. Mm. Jesus. Baby girl, can you give me some background music? Because I'm trying to hear something, but I'm fighting with myself too at the same time. Oh. Um. The Lord has answered uh, a prayer of mine, and I thank God because now I have laid eyes on them. I feel even better. <clears throat> um, there is a breaking that is taking, that's getting ready to take place. Um, <clears throat> you're strong for it, but I don't want you to. What's the word I'm looking for? You're strong enough So you want to What you want to do so it seems like every time you try to take a step there's always something that's going that's happening that's that's like pulling you back but the thing is that the more you continue to stay locked in on on what god is saying in your life and i understand that you may not understand it but as long as you continue to move forward, no, it is not. Come on here, Jesus. It's not a loss, but I'm, I'm showing you something within it. You just have to pay attention. Why? Because this is nothing but a preparation for where you want to go. Because in the where you want to go, you don't want to just visit, but you want to remain. So understanding through God, of course, is already possible. Let your past be your past, because that's what it is. It's your past. Because of your choice, literally, behold, all things. Huh? No, uh-uh. But I am now. There is, uh, <laughs> there is, <clears throat> there is, there is a sister oh my God. that needs, that needs, I don't want to say help. Okay, I'm not, I got to say help, but that's what I'm saying. It needs your help. But, They don't want to be a bother. Wow. 
Can I be honest? Literally, I literally just saw. I literally just saw you running through the door that God has opened. Understand that you, God is not looking for you to be perfect. He just wants you to go. Without kicking and screaming. Without trying to make sure the right colors are set, the, the right font, <laughs> you know, the right little piece. He just wants you to go. Just go. Thing is, you don't. What? I don't. This ain't got to be in the camera for that. Thing is. I, I, I heard what you said last night. That's why I, that's why I needed the background music because I'm I needed the background music because I there are times where someone can say something and it'll sound familiar when God is speaking. So I have to make sure that I'm differentiating what's God and what's familiar. Huh? What did I say? That you don't want to do it by yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um you have to go first because you you literally have people that's that's waiting on you. So if you move, then they'll move. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave that part alone because I already know if you move, she's moving. All you gotta do is just ask her. And this is why. Because she knows that God has something sitting and waiting on her. But she's still trying to figure out how to get there. She's been praying. She's been studying. But it doesn't seem like she's getting close. You can let me know if I'm off base. Okay. And so it's like, huh. All right. Let me go with who I trust. Because I know that who I trust ain't going to leave me the wrong way. I'm on base. No, you, you're you're right. Um, because I do know something out there, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> and which is probably explain why my eye was burning this morning when I came in. So your eye was burning. My left eye was burning. Come on, man. It's already healed, man. Yeah, but I mean, it wasn't burning like you know, like uh, it's a spiritual burning. Put it. Uh, mm. Which eye was burning? My left eye. Okay, praise the Lord. You never heard that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, like, because I, I was fine. I was, go ahead. It's a, uh, yeah, okay. I, I had to break that down. Yeah. Day. <laughs> because even in this, even in this very moment and in time, she's still trying to figure out why people are coming to her to be encouraged. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. You're right. And this is what she says. God, what is going on? I'm not completely healed yet. Right. Mind I, we ain't talking months. <laughs> we talked last month. <laughs> hey, my bad. It's a long time. So, praise the Lord. I thank God for um, for what he's doing. I'm going to go ahead on and um, if you'd like to be a blessed to Raven Worship Center, you can throw it on right there. And listen, oh boy, let me tell you. Listen, Understand this. I don't know who's watching. I do not know who's watching. But God will, God is saying, I need you to close this door. Before you, before he can open the next door, you have to literally close that door and do not open it again. The moment you close it, watch God open it. Amen. So if you'd like to be a blessing, Raven Worship Center, there it is. Father in heaven, oh God, we bless your name, God. We give you glory and honor. Dude, you are, you are fine. The things that you don't even talk about, you're fine. Well, how am I supposed to, what am I supposed to do with all of this? Trust God in the process. How do I trust God in the process? Put it in his hands and leave it alone. Don't be concerned about it anymore. If you're going to think about it, think about the outcome that comes from it. 
No, not the negative, but the positive. Remember, you're coming out of darkness. God is creating something out of this darkness. But I'm tired of battling with this. That's cool. All right, I get you. So now leave it alone. <laughs> the battle isn't yours anyway. Well, how do I just walk away from this fight? Nobody said walk away from the fight. But the Spirit of the Lord says, stand still and watch God move. Ooh, glory. Oh my God. So, <laughs> Father, heaven, Lord God, we bless your name. Yes, Lord. We bless your name, oh God. We give you glory and honor. We thank you, oh God. We thank you now, God. We give you glory. Father, even right now, oh God, those that might be in that dark place, oh God, God, let them know that you created light. So, Father, I pray that they begin to walk towards the light now in the name of Jesus. Father, because the darkness cannot hold them. Why? Because it's absent, oh God. God, it is absent from the... It is absent of light, oh God. So, Father, I pray now in the name of Jesus that they begin to recognize who they are in you, oh God. And turn the switch on, oh God. Mm. In the name of Jesus. God, I pray that they release the betrayal. Oh, shy. God, that they may heal. God, they release the abandonment. God, that they may heal. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, that re they release the, the uh, resentment. Oh, God, that they may heal in the name of Jesus. Great you are in them, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, shy, boy. Father, we thank you for your healing. We thank you for your deliverance, oh God. We thank you now. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, 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 amen. Um, oh my God. I want to talk to you, okay? You are, you are fine. You are fine. People are not going to understand the journey that you're on because it's not their business. Yeah, I get it. But it's one thing about it. Babe, what is that thing uh, you say about the elevation? Say that, please. They lose oxygen. Mm. They can't go with you because they lose oxygen. Mm -hmm. Why they lose they oxygen? They'll die. They can't. They can't withstand the elements of the air. Huh. Mm. So. It gets lighter at the top. So if I'm trying to hold on to them because of the because of the connection that I have, what happens to them? You kill them. Hmm. So you mean to tell me they'll die if I try to take them with me? Yeah. Why is that? Because they're not ready? Or is it because it's not full? They're not conditioned for the elements. It's okay. It is in their best interest that you let them go. It's in their best interest. Why? Because they are not conditioned to go with you. My God. <sighs> All hearts and minds are clear. Baby, you good? I just wanted to share. Go on, come on, share. Ooh, don't she look good, y'all? Y'all just don't know. <laughs> we working out here. Yes, sir. I just wanted to share a... Uh... <laughs>
Be still. <laughs> Be still and know I am your father. No. Just wanted to share a, a testimony as Testify, you are boo. given. I thought you were gonna pause for just a moment. Um, oh, I'm sorry. But I just wanted to share, as you all have given or as you all are preparing to give, I just wanted to share really quickly, um, only because I know that there were times, and you know, in full transparency, and this is no condemnation to anybody, so please. Don't take that as that. But this is in full transparency, as Eric mentioned earlier, how he was, you know, struggling whether or not to just close the doors and do all those different things. Like, as pastors, right, even though it's in our home, right, even though there are expenses and there are different things. And so when nobody else gave, we were still tithing. When nobody else did anything, we were still giving. And I had to question God just because I was like, God, I don't understand how, you know, what we're doing and what we've given it doesn't match it doesn't mirror what we've been giving out what we've been putting out and um god has been dealing with me for for some time now on a couple of different things and i noticed that it's an elevation right and i know that there are things that he's doing my laptop frazzled on me about a week and a half ago it's about a week right it it's already glitching oh yeah yeah. It started doing like the, glitching. And y'all know, like, my if y'all know me, know me, like, I am. My laptop, like a phone. <laughs> my laptop is my bit. Like, my laptop almost is, I dare to say, my life, if you will. Like, I got everything kind of put in there from business to work to personal. Everything is in my laptop. And so, when the laptop went out, and it's only seven years old, and I was like, my God. I don't know what you're doing, <laughs> what kind of message you're trying to put out there, but I hear you got loud and clear that like, quit playing. <laughs> and um, it was really interesting how even through all of that, right, been working out, been doing, doing all the things and trying to make sure that I am where God wants me to be. Y'all, we got an unexpected check in the mail yesterday. And when I tell you unexpected, we were not expecting this at all. It was no on the radar. And one of the things that God, before I, I, I continue on, one of the things that God spoke to me, even as Eric was talking this morning about when God saw the light, he called it good. But when he saw the darkness, he named it. He identified what it was. He called it what it was. And so even wherever you are inside oh, of your man. transitions of where you are, I want you to not look at the darkness as this bad thing as Eric is saying Come on, don't man. don't sit so much inside of your darkness that you can't see the light but name it nope. identify it let 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 the darkness know that you see it that uh -huh. you identify what it is Come on. that God has has placed this thing upon you for you to be able to overcome it yeah so don't just sit and look at the thing because I'm telling you I will challenge God in his word uh -huh. all the time because I'm just like God your word will not return to you void and I don't understand Help me so that I can understand. I'm not doing it out of uh, arrogance. I'm not doing it out of being, you know, disgruntled. But I'm just like, God, I don't understand. And so in the midst of that process, what he was showing me is that, so when we give, uh -huh. we're not giving just for giving sake, Come right? On. Take take the, the tangibles yeah. off of it. Take Come what on. you thought about it out of the question, right? Yes. But when we're giving, whether it's your tithes or your offering, it's out of obedience. Come on. In addition to being in obedience, it is also saying that God, through faith, I'm trusting, trusting you. you. Come on. I am trusting you by giving you this small long portion of whatever I'm giving you that you are going to help me to maintain the remaining ah. for whatever long. And then, God, as you continue to provide the increase, then he's going to be able to give you the increase. And so as we were doing that faithfully, I'm telling y'all, when we didn't have, we were trying to give. When we were doing all that we knew how to do. And when this check came in the, in the mail, it wasn't just... Not only did I not expect it, but in the subject matter, it said it, it, sweet settlement. Yeah. <laughs> no, literally, it had sweet settlement. Come on, girl. I lied to you not, y'all. I will post it. <laughs> it says sweet, sweet settlement. settlement. Yep. And all I could do in that moment, we don't check the mail every day, but Eric went out last night when he took the trash out and he, he checked the mail. So this was 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Last night. No, it was like 10 when I went out there. It was late. And all I could do in that moment was worship God because he knew exactly where we were, exactly in the moment, exactly what our thought process was, and exactly how we had challenged the word of God. Mm. Come on, you had to say And it that. wasn't just a small check, y'all. It wasn't small now, praise the Lord. But I thank God, a settlement that was 
old, almost three years old that I had never even thought about before. <laughs> had never ever considered or even thought oh, that I was going to get a check. Uh -huh. And for God to bring that thing around three years later. Come on. And for it to say sweet, sweet settlement, son. it was reminding me that God has never forgotten me, that God has never thought, like he never, he that. never deserted me. He Come never on. wanted to put me or place me in the darkness. He was just trusting the faith process to see, are you going to trust me in this moment? Are you going to do what I'm asking you to do, Tamika? Ooh, watch out. Are you going to go? Ooh. What are you going to do? Mm. And so I just wanted to share that on today, just Praise to encourage somebody that regardless of where you are, whatever God has asked you to do, do trust him. Yes. Do it anyway. Move in how he asked you to move and watch him do it and challenge him at his word. Come on then. And watch him do it. Yes, Lord. Watch him do it. Praise the Jesus. Hallelujah. There's one thing about it, though. When you challenge God at his word, you better make sure you walk in it, too. That's the thing. That's the key. All right? Does that mean you're going to die every time cross every teeth? No, it's not. But understand, what was that? That was a testimony. Meaning what? That she had to be tested. She had to be tried. God says, he says that we're overcomers by the word of our testimony and by the blood of the Lamb. We're overcomers. Oh, man. So we thank God. I, um, we, we thank God. Let us pray. Father, heaven, Lord God, we bless your name now, God. We give you glory now. We thank you for who you are and what you're doing. God, for this is just an act of obedience, oh God. For Father, I pray now in the name of Jesus, God, for each and every person, oh God, that's walking in the obedience, oh God. Let it flow. Yeah. Just let it flow, Lord. And God, help them to be good stewards of the increase. I shibble. God, help them to be good stewards of the flow, oh God. Oh, and Father, we thank you now, God. We give you glory and honor. We magnify you. Father, we say this prayer in your son. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Is there any uh, announcement except for the 21st? Um, the uh, 21st is the, uh, what you call it, thing? The block party. So if you'd like to be a part of the block party, just um, send an email or contact um, our outreach coordinator. <laughs> um, we'll be handing out uh, outreach coordinator. You want to talk to him about it? Outreach <laughs> coordinator. <Okay. laughs> um, so we'll be getting, uh, passing out school supplies to um, those families in the in that uh, community. Now, I'm a, can I tell you about the building real quick? Go ahead. So, me and uh, wifey, we was out. No, wifey was working. I was, and I was uh, being who being I be. Being the muscle. Um, <laughs> being the muscle. And we walked in this one, we walked in this one building. It was so funny. Because we both was like, who? Oh, man, this is the church. And so, I was just like, ah. We, we said our own little things, but I said, God, and this was the first thing I said. I said, God, I can't do this by myself. We looked at each other and said, God, we can't. This got to be you. Can God move? Oh, we believe it. We, we, when I say we believe it, we believe it. Because when I say, when I sit down and I look at the number, we were literally like, I think, what was it? It was $200. From maintaining it. No, please understand. I'm not asking for your money. Uh, -uh keep uh, -uh. no, no, no. I'm not asking for that. I'm just telling you what's taking place. I know. Uh, uh So I got, I got a rebuke. I got a rebuke. Mm. I rebuke every thought now in the name of Jesus. So I'm just telling you. Cause here, here we move on the obedience of God. But when I try to, I realize that when I try to handle stuff on my own, that's when I begin to burn out. Yeah. Why? Because this is a, this is God's doing. It ain't Brother Thompson doing. But anyway, we saw the building. We was like, oh, my God. You, babe, right here? Look, I said Aaliyah would love that place. And Just I was you. showing it to another client. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, but what I'm, what, what, <laughs> what I'm saying to God is saying, listen, it's coming. Yeah. It's coming. And so I just thank the Lord. 
I just thank the Lord. I just wanted to share that with you all. So, um, without further ado, any other announcements? Everything is good. Praise the Lord. Father in heaven, Lord God, we thank you now. We give you, oh, all hearts and minds are clear. Mm -hmm. But if you do want to give school supplies um, for the Kent Avenue Black Party, Block Party, last day will be the 19th. Oh, okay. From our coordinator, if you would like to give um, school supplies or whatnot, um, the last day will be September 19th. Last day will be September 19th. And you're always welcome to come join us at the um, block party, but wear your Rayma shirts. You're always welcome to join us at the block party. Wear your Rayma shirts. If you don't have a Rayma shirt, show up anyway. Yes. All right. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Thank God for our coordinator, outreach coordinator. Because you're like, Dad, did you get the email? Did you get the email? Yeah, okay, coordinator. I'm going to need you to read them things. All right, praise the Lord. With all hearts and minds clear, Father, heaven, Lord God, we thank you for your grace. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your unmerited favor. We thank you for who you are. We thank you for what you're doing. God, we thank you for your word, oh God. Yes, Lord. Thank you for your word, oh God, that we do not have to stay in that dark place, but Father, we are coming out. And so, Father, as we depart from this place, but never from your presence. God, that you continue to strengthen us, keep us, oh God, even to where the front parking space is in our favor. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen, amen. Hug your neighbor, tell them you love them. If you're at home, grab something to drink. Prefer apple juice. <laughs> Take a sip for me. Praise the Lord. <laughs> That's funny.